If you would like to know how to make this gift card birthday card, then stay tuned and I will show you how. Hi, here's Max and we will start right away. We will need some cardstock in the size of 4.5 by 14 and a quarter of an inch. This I'm scoring at 5.5, 6 and a quarter and 7 inches. After that I'm folding the card and score the longer part where the smaller one is ending. And then we give all the score lines a good crease and close the upper flap. I'm using a circle punch to punch one half of it in the upper flap slightly offset from the center. And here is an overview over all the parts we will need in addition. And I'm starting with the design paper and adhering this to the front, back and the upper flap. All pieces are an eighth of an inch smaller than the card base, which creates a little frame around the design paper. To get all the circles at the exact location on the design paper, I'm first marking them by using a pencil before punching the holes. Next I'm using a green panel in the size of 3 and a quarter by 3 and a half inch. I'm punching two notches into the upper edge by using the envelope punch board. Then I'm adhering the panel under the upper flap so that the middle upward notch is above the flap and the rest underneath it. After I enforce the bottom with a piece of standard copy paper, I'm now adhering only the edges with glossy accents so that the pocket is created. Then everything will be pressed firmly together before I'm cutting a round opening into the upper crease of the closed pocket. Next I'm using this stamp set by stamping up to build a small cupcake. When I'm using clear stamps for the first time, I'm always first stamping on a piece of scrap paper to get the print more intense. Now I'm stamping the cloud onto pink cardstock and then covering it with clear embossing powder to intensify the color. And always take care that your heat gun is already hot enough so that the cardstock will not curl. Afterwards I'm stamping the cake part with a light brown onto vanilla cardstock. For the little candle I'm using ink markers as this is much easier than masking the little pieces.
unfortunately I can cut the cloud which will represent the icing with a coordinating punch and cutting the other parts with my scissors. All parts will now be adhered to the panel and I'm using foam tape for the icing to give it a little bit of dimension. And finally I'm using another stamping up stamp set to create the sentiment. Cutting it afterwards with another circle punch and then adhering it onto the green scalloped circle. And so the card is done and we can open it to insert the gift card into the pocket on the bottom. If the cut is not big enough it is possible to enlarge it up to an eighth of an inch before the outside edges. And here you can see how it works. The card is kept closed by the scalloped circle at the top and the notch in the panel. There is enough space on the inside for greetings and the gift card in the pocket below. And as usual I hope you enjoyed watching and got inspired. And if so, I would love to get a thumbs up and a comment. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe because this is how you can show me that you like what I'm doing and you will be immediately notified as soon as I upload a new video. If you like some more inspiration then click on the two art journals here on the page or use the links in the description or in the info cards if you are watching from a mobile device. And then there is nothing more to say than thank you for watching, hope to catch you next time and bye bye.